In today's video, I will be talking about things I wish I would have known when I started using the art app IBIS Paint X. IBIS Paint X is a very user-friendly app that you can download on the Google Play Store or on um, Apple phones, and it is, it's a drawing app that you can use, and a lot of artists use this. It has over 12 million downloads, so it's very reliable. It has lots of different types of pens and fonts. It has layers, which I'll teach you more about those later, but they're very helpful. It has things like um, symmetry and rulers, and it's very, very easy to use, very easy to figure out, but I'm making this video to teach you about stuff that were kind of confusing for me in the beginning, and I could never really figure it out, so hopefully this video helps you. So at the bottom, we can see daily rankings, which are some art that you that are really good. We have My Gallery Collection and Online Gallery, but for the most part we're just going to use My Gallery. So here we can see all of the different art you've made using this app. I recently uninstalled it and re-downloaded it, so this is not all the app or all the art I've ever made on this app. So if we tap on something, we can first hit the little I button. This is the info button. Here we can change the title of it and wrote who made it and wrote details about it. You can also upload it to some sites, but I'm not going to really get into that because I myself don't really understand it because I never really use it. Next feature is the play button in the very middle, and what this does is it put basically is a time lapse of your art and you drawing it. The next is the share button, obviously, to share it. And then the three dots, here we can save it as a picture or you can save it to you as a movie like the time lapse I just showed you or you can duplicate or delete it. Obviously, we have the edit button to open it up and fix it. And we have the plus button here where we can go and make a new canvas. You can import pictures or pick a different canvas size. Um, we can zoom in and out and also rotate the canvas, which is very user-friendly and helpful when you're trying to get tough spots. We have the switch button, which that basically you can quickly change it from the eraser to a pen when you're drawing. This button, we have lots of different features in here. I won't even get to all of those today, but I'll teach you a few more of them later. These are all the pens. The pens, there's also stamps and lots of different types of things. If you don't have premium, you have to watch a video like a 30 second video or something like that and you can get 18 hours for free of using this but i recently spent it was like five dollars to get premium so i have no ads and i can use these whenever i want so as you can see there are lots and lots of different types of pens so it's very helpful You can also change erasers pen, so now it looks, it's not just a straight normal basic eraser like most apps do, but it is cool because you can change it into a stamp or whatever you'd like. The next bar has you change the color so you can do all these palettes here and then they have already preset palettes there. That button hides the menus and here are the layers. So. Layers can be kind of complicated in the beginning, but first we have the eye, which obviously makes it vanish. So it's still there, but it's gone. Plus adds a new layer. And the thing with layers are, it's like where it is on it. So if I move this layer underneath it, now the lines I just drew in red are underneath it. There are a few other buttons here, like this one reverses the whole canvas, flips it upside down, or switches it left to right. Over there on the other side, it just flips that one layer. This one, it moves it so you can move it around, you can change its angles, or you can do mesh form, which is very helpful as well. Especially if you're trying to animate like cloth or something like that to change the thickness and like the bend of it. I'm honestly not sure what I have going on here. It's not really art, it's just a mesh. So that one inverses the color, so it makes it the opposite color of it on the color wheel. That one mashes it down, so it makes it go to the layer below it. And that one deletes it, so now I'm done. I could hit the undo button if I want to bring it back, but I'm not going to do that. 
So we also have stuff on here which are good for shading, like darken, multiply, a lot of stuff that you're just going to have to play around with, mess around with, see what it does, and it can totally help your art. I am not a total pro at this, so I don't really know, like, I, I don't understand it all. We have uh, the transparency of the level, and then we can add a layer here. I'm just going to um, show you. So we have the undo button and the redo button. We can copy and paste stuff here. We, the next layer, I didn't understand at first, but it's a stabilizer, so when you're like drawing and if you're on a bumpy road, now it's it appears straighter. We also have force fade, which makes the tips pointy, which are good when you're drawing hair. We have um, circle rulers, regular rulers, rulers that you can change the size of, and symmetry. And the final tab is patterns and backgrounds. So these are just, I'll use one of them later to show you, but it's just artsy, like wallpaper type things. So if your eraser isn't big enough, you can change the type of eraser it is, like I'm doing here, to make it bigger. Alright, now I'm going to draw something as an example um, to show you tips when you, it comes to using this and to teach you a little bit more about layers. So first I'm going to use the circle uh, ruler to draw a purple circle. To make things easier, instead of coloring the whole thing in, you can just use the bucket tool um, to fill it in. The bucket tool does not work if you don't have um, a straight enclosed area. So now with the difference between alpha lock and clip. So when I hit alpha lock right here, um, I can change the color so I can see it. And then if I color on it, as you can see here, it stays inside the area, the alpha locked area, the area that you drew before. But the problem is if I try and erase that, it erases the whole circle. The difference with clipping is if I, I can use that to draw on it, and then if I want to erase it, it doesn't erase the, the, the um, base layer or whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to use an airbrush and I'm going to try and make this kind of look 3D. Make it look like a sphere, or a sphere, sorry, a sphere rather than a flat circle. So that can be easily done by taking airbrushes and well, I'll teach you later an easy way to create a shadow. And be sure when you're drawing a circle, to add more highlight anything is necessary, you can always hit the undo button if you need. absolutely need to. Sorry that the audio keeps sounding weird and jumpy, like I get cut off randomly and then I add in like it sounds weird. I am currently a little sick right now, and so sometimes I need to cough, and so I can't hold it in any longer, and I stop voice recording, and then I have to re-try and finish up my sentence just jump by jumping in so sometimes it sounds a little glitchy or weird but I mean what can you do when you're sick like you just have to wait wait it through be sure when you're drawing spears to um, not only add shadows but also to add highlights like lighter versions of the color to try and symbolize that there is a light somewhere light summer sh shining on the sphere and causing the shadows and the highlights on the sphere This app is very helpful. I never really had the time or energy to use Paint Tool Sci or whatever you can use on computers. So I've used this app a lot to make my art that I post on um, Sony's Sketch account. So check out that video if you have the time. Now that I'm done with the sphere, I'm gonna add a background just because I feel like it. So I'm gonna, well first, before I do that, I'm gonna add a shadow. You can always do this basic way where you try and draw lines, but I think that doesn't totally look the best. So I'm gonna teach you another way to do it. That looks a little better in my opinion. I think it's pretty obvious to tell that this video is unscripted. I'm just going with it, re-watching the um, screen recorder that I made, and trying to add in the best audio that I can think of. It's 
So it's not going to be perfect. So first thing I'm going to do is um, make, I'm going to trace the circle. So as you can see, I have a little technical difficulties here. I forgot that it's in the layer below it, so you obviously can't see it. I'm going to use the bucket again to fill up this new black circle. As you can see, it doesn't totally fill the right way because the shadows, they make it like the app thinks that that's the end of the enclosure. Alright, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to use the feature that allows you to move around each layer. And I'm going to use the perspective form to make it bend, like so. So this way, it's kind of like the sun is reaching out. and Because you know how during the day, sometimes your shadows get longer and stuff. So that's what I'm trying to portray, portray here, sorry. I'm going to move that below it, so now it looks like a circle, or a circle about to fall into a pit, who knows. The next feature I'm going to show an example of is the last tab that we talked about before, the one that, um, it's like backgrounds and patterns. So I'm going to create a new layer for this pattern to go on. Might as well continue the theme of circles with a circle background. And voila, perfect. Next, I'm going to show you a little bit of this T, uh, this uh, FX, which means filter. Um, there's lots of different stuff you can do in here, like changing colors and making it look blurry or more like box-like. There's tons of fun stuff to play around in here. I'm going to use the uh, blur frame feature to make it look more dramatic on the edges. Alright, so that's about it. That's a bunch of stuff I wish I would have known when I first downloaded this app. If you have any questions, just comment below and I will get to them as soon as I can. And thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and stay tuned for part two.